Robots are no longer just machines. They are becoming companions, partners, and even reflections of ourselves. Imagine lifelike faces that smile back at you, voices that respond with emotion, and movements so natural they make you forget you're staring at circuits and steel. These creations are not built to look futuristic. They're built to look human. Skin that feels real, eyes that lock onto yours, and intelligence that learns every day. They can walk, talk, assist, and even comfort, all while pushing the boundaries of what technology can achieve. This is no longer science fiction. It's here, and it's only getting better. So, are these robots the future of human connection, or just the beginning of something bigger? Let's find out. Robotization in Japan is rapidly accelerating and one remarkable illustration is an experimental robot cafe which became a global sensation. In this unusual establishment, customers were greeted and served not by human staff members but by three robots specifically created for various tasks. Just near the entrance was a robot greeter, an etiquette-obsessed robot pre-programmed for greeting customers, beckoning them in, allocating a short response code for ordering for every visitor, and then leading them to their seats. Once seated, clients were also attended by two service robots which took care of food and beverage service in a very surprising manner. Although the cafe was such a temporary event, many who witnessed it hoped someday it would recur and stay for good. Aside from restaurants, Japan continues to reveal how everyday life can be influenced by the use of robots. At the National Museum of Emerging Science and Innovation, visitors can meet a humanoid robot acting as a futuristic tourism agent. This machine is equipped with artificial intelligence strong enough to hold meaningful conversations and even won recognition in a national dialogue robot competition held alongside a global artificial intelligence conference. For the Japanese public, these projects are more than entertainment. They are glimpses of a future where robots assist in service industries, museums, and even healthcare. While some people worry about robots taking jobs, others see them as a chance to fill labor shortages and provide consistent service in areas where workers are scarce. More importantly, these experiments invite us to imagine a future where machines do not replace human warmth, but instead work alongside us, creating new possibilities for comfort, convenience, and innovation. Japan's continuing dedication to robot development shows that what may appear today as science fiction could could soon become part of daily life, shaping the way we eat, learn, and interact in the years ahead. Animatronics was one of the greatest innovations in the history of movies, and it still manages to arouse imaginations even in the age of computer-generated graphics. In essence, animatronics is the combination of engineering and art for the purpose of making inanimate objects appear animate by replicating the movements, postures, and expressions of living creatures. They can be human characters, animals, or even fictitious animals like aliens, dinosaurs, or zombies, and the illusion is so real that the audience tends to forget they are seeing a robot. Inside every animatronic is a carefully designed structure built much like a skeleton, but instead of bones, it is made from strong materials such as stainless steel and aluminum alloys. Hinged joints function as elbows and knees, mechanical drives act as muscles to move the limbs, and networks of electrical wiring connect the entire body much like a nervous system. Covering this hidden frame is an outer layer made from plastics, silicone, or foam latex, sculpted with such detail that it resembles lifelike skin, complete with fine textures, wrinkles, or even hair, feathers, and fangs depending on the character. To create movement, engineers often rely on pneumatics powered by compressed air, electric motors for precision, or hydraulics using pressurized oil for heavy force. Skilled puppeteers or technicians then control the animatronic creature, synchronizing its motions with recorded sounds, dialogue, or lighting effects so that the illusion feels seamless. The process of building one usually begins with sculpting a model, sometimes an entire body, other times just a head, before creating a mold into which flexible latex is poured. Once hardened, this skin is painted, detailed with eyebrows, mustaches, or strands of hair, and then stretched over the mechanical skeleton filled with servos, cables, and motors. When completed, the animatronic can perform surprisingly expressive actions. It can frown, smile, blink, or even raise its eyebrows in ways that mimic genuine human or animal emotions. Many classic blockbusters, from early monster films to modern science fiction adventures, have relied on animatronics because it offers a physical presence that digital imagery often cannot match. One can feel the creature is actually there in the set, alongside the actors and experiencing the same light and space, and the performance becomes much more believable. To this day, even as computer imagery continues its breathtaking pace of development. Animatronics continues as a linchpin for directors wishing for a combination of realism and creativity. Future developers continue research and development in how artificial intelligence can be integrated alongside animatronic technology so the machines can respond to their world around them, achieve more elaborate sequences, and possibly even communicate with audiences in such a way they seem nearly impossible to distinguish from living creatures. 
Phoenix is the name of yet another ambitious human-like robot, this time created by the company Sanctuary AI, and it is billed as the world's first stab at general intelligence in robots. What is different about Phoenix is not just the human-like shape but the control system of artificial intelligence that operates it. According to the developers, this is a cognitive architecture system such that human thought and action are emulated, and speech is translated directly into purposeful activity. In theory, Phoenix is capable of hearing instructions, constructing a plan for what should happen next, and then taking action and performing tasks based upon reasoning that can be explained and articulated. The developers point to the use of symbolic and logical reasoning and create the impression of a robot which does not move mechanically but can also think. But it should be made clear at this point a great deal of this is still more vision than reality. In reality, Phoenix at the moment uses telepresence technology and is therefore controlled by human operatives. The difference is that whilst many robots of this type also use telepresence and hence are under human control at a given moment, in the case of Phoenix, the repeat use of the same skills allows the robot gradually to acquire the skills by the gradual buildup of experience such that one day it should make the move towards independent and autonomous work. The developers intend at first simply to use it for simple repetitive tasks such as opening doors or picking up everyday objects, then gradually longer and more complicated sequences of tasks. Ultimately, the intention is gradually to move towards a robot capable of performing complicated responsibilities without any human control. Whether or not such a vision exists or not, the Phoenix is an intriguing step in the sense that we are witnessing robots evolve from simple mechanical movement towards systems at least appearing at a base level to possess thought, memory, and reasoning. Tilly Lockie is one of the most remarkable young women of our time, and her story is a blend of tragedy, resilience, and hope made possible by technology. Born in County Durham in the United Kingdom, she seemed like any healthy child, but at only 15 months of age her life took a dramatic turn. A severe meningococcal infection threatened her survival, and doctors had no choice but to amputate both of her hands to save her life. What could have been the end of her independence instead became the beginning of an extraordinary journey. Years later, Tilly became the first British teenager to receive a pair of three-dimensional printed bio bionic hands, a cutting-edge technology that gave her new abilities and opened opportunities many thought would remain out of reach. These hands, controlled by muscular sensors inside her arms, allow her to bend and straighten her fingers with remarkable precision. When she squeezes her muscles, the fingers grip, and when she relaxes, they open. This allows her to perform delicate movements such as opening jars, applying makeup, or even brushing her hair. At first she struggled, especially with cosmetics, because she had no muscle memory to guide her. But instead of hiding, she bravely shared her progress online. When she uploaded makeup tutorials on YouTube, people were stunned by her skill and determination, eager to see more of how she overcame challenges with her new bio abilities. Tilly has since become a model and an activist, traveling the world to spread awareness about meningitis, the illness that almost ended her story before it had begun. Through her voice, her courage, and her technology, she reminds us that loss does not define us, and that human spirit combined with innovation can restore not only function but also dignity and pride. Oversonic Roby is a historic breakthrough for Italy and is hailed as the first completely domestically designed and manufactured humanoid robot in the country. Designed by Oversonic, Roby symbolizes years of research and development encapsulated in a sleek and slender body. It stands approximately 175 centimeters in height and weighs around 70 kilograms. The humanoid device is not merely designed for exhibition or demonstration, but for commercial application in industrial and social settings. Roby is capable of running autonomously and hence does not at all times need human control. It it was already deployed in industrial warehouses where one can arrange and distribute goods through the robot, in sanitation operations wherein the robot operates in a safe enclosure, and even in security operations wherein the robot scans areas with accuracy. What differentiates Roby from the rest is the integration of artificial intelligence and speech interaction. It can identify individuals, recall them, and communicate effectively. With the 40 articulated joints and extensive sensor network, it operates in a natural way and navigates busy areas easily, possessing a safety and awareness level common in previous designs. Its gripper-like hands can lift and carry objects as small as 3 centimeters in diameter, and equipped with a cart, it can carry loads of 50 kilograms or more. It even possesses the capability of learning. Roby can replicate human movements for educational use, retain experiences in a database of memory, and even be easily programmed from a control panel. For Italy, this robot is more than a symbol of national pride. It represents a vision of the day yet to come when human-like machines will populate everyday milieu along with us, and work quietly and efficiently in facilities ranging from warehouses to public areas, always designed to enhance human effort rather than replace it. 
Melton Alpha is an ambitious creation from the company Melton, which is dedicated to developing robotic technologies that mimic human anatomy and may one day help create true cyborgs. Their research focuses on decoding the biosignals that travel through nerves in the human body and turning those signals into commands that robotic systems can understand. Among their most impressive designs is the avatar robot known as Melton Alpha. This machine's hands are carefully engineered to replicate the structure of real human hands, including the arrangement of muscles, tendons, and finger movements. Instead of traditional motors alone, Melton uses polymer elastic wires that act like artificial muscles, giving the robot smooth and precise motion. Each finger is equipped with pressure sensors, while a feedback system allows it to sense and adapt to objects in its grip. With this design, Melton Alpha is strong enough to hold a 2-liter water container with only two fingers, a demonstration of both strength and control. The robot's responsiveness is also remarkable. The signal transmission from a human operator to the robot has a delay of only a fraction of a second, even when operated from thousands of kilometers away. Alongside Melton Alpha, the company has developed Melton Beta, a version tailored for dangerous environments such as extreme temperatures, chemical spills, biological hazards, radioactive zones, and even outer space. Not only does the robot give feedback about how hard it's gripping the objects they lift, but also about the objects themselves, giving the operator the sense of touch via technology. The vision for Melton's work is straightforward, to blur the line between human capability and the capability of a machine, and design robots whose reach for humans goes beyond areas too dangerous or too far away for humans themselves. The notion of air taxis was science fiction for a long time, yet Chinese conglomerate A Hung made it closer to reality through the development of a passenger hauling vehicle that already successfully took test flights in Japan. In one of the first demonstrations of this product, the two-seat electric vehicle took off and flew above the surface for several minutes and gave the passengers a safe, quiet, and emission-free ride while they gazed at the surrounding maritime landscapes. The Japanese media was cautious not to emphasize the Chinese nature of the initiative, yet A Hung is known globally as the first producer in the world mass-producing autonomous, fully electric vertical takeoff and landing airplanes. The version tested under the name of the Ahang 26 Air Taxi is capable of hauling two passengers or a useful payload of approximately 260 kilograms. It remains in the air for approximately 20 minutes and achieves more than 130 kilometers per hour in speed and is capable of making flights of approximately 35 kilometers. For a country like Japan, with its rugged terrain and Long Island coastline, this could change daily travel. Often a short distance of 5 to 10 kilometers can take hours when using conventional ground transport with several transfers, but with an air taxi the same trip could take only minutes. Beyond tourism, which will surely benefit from these flights, air taxis can offer practical solutions for commuting, emergency services, and island connections. By eliminating traffic and providing a direct line from one point to another, they represent not just a new form of transportation but a shift in how people think about mobility. With continued development, these quiet, clean, and efficient machines could become a common sight in the skies, especially in countries with challenging geography and heavy traffic congestion. The Candela P12 represents a remarkable leap in water transportation and how clean technology can match the performance of existing diesel ferries. The product of a Swedish firm, the P12 is a slender electric passenger ferry fitted with high-tech underwater wings for lifting the ship into the air at full speed. In testing, the pre-production version transported 30 passengers effortlessly rising high above the water at around 16 knots and zooming more rapidly at about 30 knots, moving nearly like an airplane across the water. Not only is the design very attractive, but also very useful in terms of maintenance costs saved from lower expenses and quiet running without any toxic emissions while in comparison with the same class diesel boats. Candela sees various iterations of the same ferry. The shuttle version provides 30 seats, along with space for bicycles and wheelchairs, making it perfect for urban transport across rivers or coastal areas. The business version offers fewer seats, between 12 and 20, but places them in a premium cabin with more comfort for executives or special services. Finally, the Voyager version is designed designed for private owners with full customization depending on the lifestyle and needs of the buyer. To make docking easy, the P-12 includes a retractable ramp with an adjustable angle, allowing it to connect with docks of different heights. The company stresses that in many cities with waterways, ferries are often faster and more comfortable than cars, and shifting to electric options would reduce congestion while improving sustainability. The cost of the P-12 is close to that of a diesel ferry, but because of its energy efficiency and simpler maintenance, it will be cheaper to operate in the long run. More importantly, it offers a way to reduce waterway pollution. Candela views airborne wing ferries like this as the first step in scaling clean transport from rivers to seas and eventually to full ocean crossings, setting the stage for a greener future in maritime travel.